and welcome back to Bruffington. Today uh, was just, it's just a day after vacation day where we are putting away suitcases and kind of just getting back into a routine. Um, but Porter, he saw this little kid at church playing with with a little like paper origami toy thing and he like really wanted me to make it. And so we looked it up on YouTube and we figured out how to make it. So we made some. They're, I don't know what they're called, like little, sometimes I feel like they look like like Star Wars ships and sometimes they're like little mouths that can eat. I think they're probably more like mouths than Star Wars ships. But they're so fun, we can eat our toys with them, we can fly around with them, we can drop them, we can ruin them and then make some more because that's paper. We can color all over the paper and then fold it so it looks like a crazy monster like this. Um, anyway, it's just a lot of fun. Porter, or, do you like it? Or if you can make it that, this airplane. Oh, yeah. Or it can be an airplane. And sometimes it can even be like a boat if you wanted to just make it into like a little boat. Also, as you can see, we're still in our pajamas, um, which is cool. also another great reason to do this activity. So anyway, we will show you guys how to make one so you guys can have just as much fun as we are. Hey, what clothes are you guys gonna use? Okay, let's get started. This is a really easy project. All you need is some printer paper. And my kids like to color all over theirs so that it looks kind of cool and crazy. So you can just let your kids go at it on the paper Ooh, wow. and then yeah. when they're all done, we can start folding. Wow, a bullet is in there. Look at a bullet. Shoot. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to want the colored side to be facing up. You're gonna start with one fold, hamburger style, and crease it down, and then you're going to fold it again. You're gonna unfold it right back after that. All you want is the crease. After that's done, take the corners and fold them towards the crease. You're just gonna do two of the outer corners, folding them towards you. Then you'll fold that little flap over and flip the whole thing on the other side. After that, you'll continue to fold all of the corners in towards that center crease line until all four corners are folded over. Once you're ready, you can just fold that last little flap so that you can make this little shape right here. And you can see your colors on the outside like this. And then what you're gonna do is fold it in half, but you're just going to do a little crease on that one on the long side so that you can have that crease to uh, do a little, a little rip. So you're gonna rip about half an inch of the paper so that you can have a little tear right there. And then once you have that done, you just kind of fold these, these flaps over. They're gonna be kind of like a diagonal fold, making like a super long triangle, and you're just gonna do that to all um, four flaps that you can see on this side, on the long side. Crease those down with your fingers, and you're almost done. The last step is to just open that big flap up. So you're just gonna kind of push those sides out and push those corners down and you've got yourself a fun little random paper origami toy that your kids will play with forever. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and I hope you guys have as much fun with these paper toys as we have. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You're stuck? Ah. in there.